After two seasons of NBA 2K25, we are finally in season three, and I have gone through four to five different popper builds, and we have finally found the best one. Now, this became the best popper build because of the cap breakers. I'm going to show you guys a couple different variations for poppers if you guys don't have your cap breakers at the end of the video. All right, so we are going to go with power forward, six foot seven, 263 pounds with a seven foot three wingspan. You guys could bring down the weight on this build if you guys want to have less strength because you're really only going to be getting 91 strength as your ultimate goal. But I want to have the ability to eventually have 99 strength once I hit legend. I feel like strength is super useful to help stopping your opponents when their post score is in the paint. And you also won't be able to get a 96 defensive rebound if you don't have 263 for your weight. So that's another reason that we went with the weight at 263 instead of bringing it down. But if you also just wanted to go gold rebounding badges, you could go with a 94 rebound. But here we go. So up first, we're going to talk about close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, standing dunk, and post control. This build doesn't really excel in the finishing category as it is a popper. Your job on a popper is just to take the quick slip whenever it's there and just dunk the ball wide open. So we really don't need that much finishing on this build. We're going to do the bare basics. Shout out to my boy Iggy Mo. We actually directly copied his standing dunk and driving layup from his popper build. And then we worked on the other categories in our own way. But we are going to go with a 71 close shot, 45 driving layup, 62 driving dunk 72 stand dunk and 55 post control now we're going to go down to speed agility and strength we're going to put our speed all the way up to an 88 here and then our agility is going to go up to a 76 okay then we're going to put our strength to a 90 and then our vertical is going to go to a 90 as well but we will eventually be cap breakering our strength so we get that 91 strength for brick wall and box out beast okay, so now we're on to the shooting category for shooting we're just going to go with the 79 three ball which gives us that silver set shot specialist this build does its job shooting the ball i shoot around 62 percent from three in season two with this popper build if you guys are struggling to shoot i recommend going with a higher mid range and a lower three ball that way you get gold set shot specialist but if you're a good shooter, man, and you're shooting anywhere from 40 to 50 from the field right now, you will definitely be able to shoot with silver set shot specialist. You can also plus one it to get gold set shot specialist, and you will have a very, very good green window with the high three ball and a low midi. Shooting on this build feels super consistent. You're able to green from almost anywhere on the floor. You're so fast with that 88 speed that you can slip pop anywhere you want. You can knock down shots from the top of the key, from the corner, and from the wing. Now, the 69 mid-range is a little bit scary, so I don't recommend picking a pop for mid ranges for the win always try to get to that three line because your green window is going to be massive with that gold set shot specialist with the plus one to silver allowing you to green every single shot from the field okay so for the passing ball handle and speed with ball we're going to go with a 65 pass accuracy a 58 ball handle and a 63 speed with ball now ball handle and speed with ball are literally only up because of speed and agility but that 65 pass accuracy is all you need on the twos and threes if you're going to be playing fives you wouldn't want to be using this build at the five anyways you're going to want to use it at the four so you just want to try to get a 75 pass act now for our interior defense we're going to go with a 74 interior defense an 85 perimeter and a 94 steel but this is going to be cap breaker to get 96 that way we have hall of fame glove and hall of fame interceptor then for our block we're going to push this all the way up to a 78 which will give us that silver high flying denier as well as bronze paint patroller now for the rebound on the offensive rebound we're going to go with an 81 o board and then our d board is going to go all the way up to a 94. now as you can see i'm officially left with some leftovers here that we can throw basically anywhere we want i'm going to do it on free throw just in case i end up playing rec so i have a 60 free throw and i don't clank every single free throw now where this build is better than every other build in the game it starts off with the steel and the rebounding badges and the strength we are able to get a 96 steal on a popper, which is absolutely insane, as well as a 96 rebound, which gives us Hall of Fame rebound chaser. You could even make that legend if you wanted, as well as Hall of Fame box out beast. You don't see that on most popper builds in this game. The 96, 96, as well as the 90 vertical in the 88 speed. 88 speed, you're basically a lockdown. You can full switch onto the ball whenever you want. And then you have a 90 vertical to out jump every single center in the game. All those insides, that are pulling up on you that are 6'9 to play the threes court, guess what? You have the exact same vertical as them and you have Hall of Fame rebound chaser. They should not be able to outsnag you. If they're outsnagging you, you got to work on your positioning. 
Defense on this build feels better than any other build in the game. Like I said earlier, man, you can full switch onto every single ball handler, every single screen with your lockdown. If your lockdown has a little bit of rebounding, it's going to be impossible for people to score on you because the lockdown can full switch, get the box out, and then you would crash for the rebound with that 90 vertical coming from guarding the guard. And you can... You can literally bag any guard. All those guards that are begging for a center to switch on them so they can fade to the corner, good luck. You have 88 speed. You can literally beat them to the corner. You have essentially the same exact speed as every single guard in the game at the center position. On top of that, this build has the 96 steal, so you are literally a defensive back in lanes. You have Hall of Fame glove and Hall of Fame interceptor. You should not only be able to pluck the ball on almost every single blitz, but if you do blitz and you have to recover to the paint, you will still be able to take that pass every single time, as well as playing back end in pro M and even on the threes court when the people are trying to cut on your guard back door. Then you have that silver high flying denier for chase down animations whenever you're chasing down the opponent when they try to split the screen and attack the rim. You also have 74 interior defense, which is more than enough to wall up on other 6.7s and 6.8s. Now you will struggle against 7 foot 3, so I don't recommend trying to stop post scores by just walling up. You're going to have to spam square and get some steals on those guys. But not even 7 footers are stopping post scores right now, so we're not too worried about that. This build definitely excels in rebounding. You have Hall of Fame rebounding chases with a 90 vertical on a popper. That's all you can really ask for. You are going to be snagging every single rebound over your opponent no matter the height no matter their vertical it does not matter this is not a 73 vertical popper like what we had on day one 90 vertical is the most broken thing in the game that is really all that matters when rebounding currently i'm doing a 60 to 99 no money spent on a shack build i have an 87 rebound with a 77 vertical i don't even have gold rebounding badges yet and i am still snagging the ball getting 9 to 10 rebounds a game out rebounding my opponent every single game strictly because of the vertical if you guys are not making your build with vertical make sure you lock in and you make it with vertical so this build's going to come out with shades of sean marion scotty barnes and draymond green with the build name two-way board hunting stretch like i said earlier in the video i'm going to show you guys a variation for those that don't have cap breakers so let's go ahead and get into that real quick so it's going to be the same height weight and wingspan that's 67 263 with the 73 wingspan but here are the changes that we are going to make since you guys do not have your cap breakers you're just going to leave that at the 94 steel for now and then you're going to bring down your rebound here and go with a 92 rebound. You're going to have to put your strength up to a 91, and you're going to max out that agility to a 77. So you're still going to be able to get your Hall of Fame rebound chaser with your plus one. You're still going to have Hall of Fame interceptor on a popper and gold glove. You're still looking pretty stylish here. Now, for those that don't think they need that 94 steal, I do recommend at least having gold interceptors. So you're going to want to tick this all the way down to 85 if you don't like that Hall of Fame interceptor. But I do think Hall of Fame interceptor is useful. Now, you guys can make a change here. You can either go with the pass accuracy if you're playing Pro-Am and Rec. You could put this up to a 75 right now. Or you can go up to your stand dunk and get that 81 stand dunk for Silver Rise Up. And then come back here and throw those two ticks back in a defensive rebound, which will give you a 94 rebound, 78 block, which you can tick up now as well to get the 84 block, which will give you Silver Paint Patroller, Gold Pogo. And you're going to dump the rest of those into agility. So you have 78 agility. And then you're going to get your 67 free throw. Biggest change on this build, like I said, you, can't, you don't have crap breakers, so you can't get 96 steal. So you could go 85 steal here. You still get that 94 rebound, 91 strength. Now you get better agility, better standing dunk, and better free throw. This build is going to come out with a different shade at the end. It's going to sh be shades of Jalen Johnson for your final shade. But you are still going to get the same name, two-way board hunting stretch. Now, I do have this build currently, and I will say it does not feel as good as my cap breaker build. But like I said, if you don't have those plus six cap breakers, definitely start here with a two-way board hunting stretch. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe, like, and share it with a friend, man. I hope you guys enjoy your day, and you have a great rest of NBA 2K25. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.